I want to tell you about Asana portfolios. They are very useful. I wasn't convinced at first a couple of years ago when they were introduced, but now I get it. And I want to show you why I didn't get it initially, the two reasons, and also show you the features that were introduced into portfolios in 2024, making it a very useful feature within the Asana feature stack. I want to talk to you about Asana portfolios. Uh, this is a feature that has been around for a couple of years now, and I wasn't really convinced at first because I was missing two key elements. And I want to share with you why portfolios are important and specifically what was introduced in 2024 as a feature. So let's have a look at why portfolios are important. When they were first introduced, I, I was missing the point. I wasn't very convinced. The main reason was, was I did not really understand how portfolios fit into the bigger picture. The thing that I was missing was actually this, the pyramid of clarity. I don't know if you're familiar with the concept. It's a visual way of explaining how Asana is structured uh, internally in terms of data model, how you can structure your work within uh, Asana. And it's very interesting to see that portfolios fit perfectly into that picture. So what the pyramid is saying is that everything relies on tasks. That's the bottom. Those tasks are organized into projects and those projects are placed into portfolios. And then those portfolios are connected to goals. And that was really a missing uh, layer in that pyramid when we were missing portfolios and goals. And I know that people were um, finding workarounds and creating tasks representing projects, but that was a bit awkward. It doesn't really work. With portfolios, you can really have a clean way to see uh, your project progress. And I'll show you in a second what a portfolio looks like if you don't know. The second thing I was missing is that if you just manage a couple of projects at once, then you don't really need that extra layer. But if you do manage, let's say 10, 15 different marketing campaigns at the same time, you need that extra layer of abstraction. You need to be able to consolidate uh, information and you need, and your leadership needs this as well. They can't go into projects and look at the details uh, all day, every day. They need that abstraction layer. That's very important. And Asana is really built this way with different layers of information. Let's have a look at a, a portfolio. For example, this one, this is a portfolio showing four different events being organized. It's a nice way to have an overview of what's happening. Who's the owner of the projects? What are the statuses that were published by the project managers? Uh, what is the actual progress? Then we have different custom fields uh, where you can define values or you can get values rolled up from uh, within the projects. I'll, I'll come to this afterwards. I'm going to stop you right there to remind you that everything that I'm talking about is actually available on the Yasana guide online as well as the form. So make sure to check those resources out. That should be your go to resources when it comes to Asana questions. And then in addition, you can, of course, hang out in our YouTube channel uh, and see any of the content that we put up. Let's discuss seven features that were introduced in 2024. The first one is about maintaining a clean Asana space. And this is that little button right there, archive portfolio. If you've been working with them for a long time, for a long time, you couldn't archive them. So you had to rename them or you had to delete them and you would be basically just losing data and then cluttering the space. It's not the case anymore. You can archive those portfolios and then you can use this as a filtering option in the different dashboards and the different views. So that's very interesting. And uh, it's a simple one that makes all the difference. The second feature I want to share with you is the ability to customize the notifications people get related to portfolios. So if you go into the members there at the top, you're going to see a list of portfolio members. And if you go into manage notifications, you're going to see that you can decide uh, notifications people get just like you would within a project. So you can get status updates if you publish status updates at the portfolio level. Uh, if you use messages at the portfolio level, you can also decide to receive them or not. But most importantly, you can be informed when work is added to the portfolio, meaning either a project or another portfolio nested uh, within. So that would be interesting. And I think in most cases, you might want to disable that uh, specific button. Uh, but in specific cases, you do want to know when people add things to your portfolio. 
So that's a nice one as well. The third feature, which is exactly on that screen, is also the ability to decide on the permissions uh, for the members. You can be a portfolio admin, meaning you can do anything. You can be an editor, meaning you can add and remove projects from the portfolio, or you could be a viewer only and you can only see what's happening. Uh, and it's really great to see Asana giving you more options on how to control what people can do and the type of permissions that they have. It's a small one, but it's very interesting. Let's look at a very big one, rules within portfolios. You already know that within projects, you have automations, you can automate things with triggers and conditions and actions. And yes, this is now available within portfolios and it's changing everything. If you go into customize, you will find if you are on the new Asana plans, you will find an option to create rules. Let's create a new one. When a work is archived in this portfolio, then I want to remove work from this portfolio, automatically keeping things uh, clean. And you can also do lots of stuff around custom fields. If the high priority custom field value is chosen, then add this project to another portfolio, for example. Or if the owner is this person, then add the project to this person's portfolio. There's lots of ways uh, to use this feature and it's a great way to keep everything clean and maintained and, and really have many different portfolios giving you many different angles to look at the, the data set that you have. I'm very excited about this one. Another one that's great is the ability to define how the view is being organized. So for example, if I go into this specific portfolio, um, actually this one, uh, it's a list of clients. So one project per client. And then you have the ability to decide on the grouping to different sections if you, if you, if you must. Uh, in that case, the group is the owner. But let's say I want to group by tier. And then I want to group by owner. And that makes things very interesting if you want to um, run a meeting and if you want to talk only about tier one clients and then you want to go around the room and each person introduces their own clients, that would be a great way. And you can combine this with uh, different filters. So for example, if you look at the tier, we could look at only tier one client and then uh, you would have different groups for the different owners. That makes things very easy, especially uh, since uh, portfolios can now have way more projects in them. Uh, if you have hundreds and hundreds of projects, you do need the right group and filter and source to be able to work uh, properly. So very excited about this one. I've used this one already and it's very handy. Another thing that's amazing is the ability to have uh, what we call a roll up. So basically, if you look at uh, this uh, portfolio, you can see that you have uh, custom fields. For example, this one is the initial budget uh, that was decided for this specific project. It's a, it's a static field. You define whatever value you want. You go in and you change the value. But there's also this, which is very interesting. It's the roll up feature. You can't change the value because that value actually comes from the sum of the tasks within the project. So just to show you, it's actually a regular formula field. It used to be a specific type of field, but now it's a formula field. And if you go into the advanced formula mode, you will find the function called roll up. So rolling up the values from below, and then you choose the field that you want to roll up against. In that case, the budget. So if you go into one of those projects, you're going to see there is a budget column, which is right there. You can write down how much something costs and then those values roll up into the portfolio. So basically giving you how much you spent and then using formulas again in portfolio, you can see the leftover from the initial budget and the used budget. That works as well with time spent, estimated time and any other metric that you decide. That's very powerful. That makes really things interesting. And again, that layer of abstraction allowing you to really see that consolidated value and not all the very small different tasks that you have. The last one I want to show you, number seven, is the ability to export portfolios different ways. So if you go there into export, you now have a sync to Google Sheet, and you also have the PDF summary. And I have one right there. Uh, we all have clients or colleagues that do want to send something by email to someone, like a summary of what happened with different projects. 
that's exactly what you need. So you have different options to customize. You can decide on what's being displayed. You can also write some notes yourself. You have your company logo in the corner. So that really makes it easy to collaborate with people that can't be in Asana or just don't want to be in Asana just yet. So very exciting to see Asana going this way, which is allowing uh, PDF exports. For a long time, it wasn't available. Uh, my guess was that they really wanted people to come into Asana to look at the data, but I can see that uh, probably many clients asked for the ability to share things in PDF and uh, it's working. The feature is there and it's, uh, it's not perfect. Obviously, you might want to customize even more, uh, but I, I hope it's coming and they will allow you to customize uh, this view a little bit more. Those were my seven features. I just want to share one last feature is this and that makes all the difference. We used to have a single view where we would only see portfolios we were a member of or portfolios we liked. And that made things a bit awkward because if your colleague creates a portfolio, doesn't invite you, but the portfolio is public, you couldn't really see it. You had to go through the search. And again, that's very awkward. So Asana introduced this uh, browse all button that allows you to see all the different portfolios and even join them uh, using buttons on the right hand side. So much better for portfolio visibility. And again, it's a nice addition to this uh, already awesome layer. Thanks for watching. My name is Bastian. I'm the co-founder of a company called I Do. We are an Asana solutions partner, meaning we can help you deploy Asana successfully. We've done that for many, many years. We have a big team in Europe and uh, in the US and we helped couple of hundred companies deploy Asana successfully through trainings and workshops and audits. We can also do custom integrations. So really we have that Asana fire in us. We have that very deep passion for the tool. We use it every day and I'm sure we can help you deploy successfully or improve your way of using Asana.